The great thing about a mains water or a town's water supply is that someone else is doing the hard work to make that water meet the drinking water guidelines for your own safety. There are a few things that start to get easier when you're treating large volumes of water and there are a few other things which leave a few undesirables for us as the end user. One of them which a lot of people can understand is chlorine. Chlorine is cheap, it's easy, it's a great disinfectant. Unfortunately by the time it gets to us it's done a few other things uh, in that yes it's got rid of the bacteria uh, but it's left a taste in the water, it's left a smell in the water and it reacts with the natural organic materials in that water to create trihalomethanes among other things which are not so good for our health. One thing that isn't easily treated on a large scale is something called hardness. If you've got hard water you'll notice that by some white crispy sort of deposits which you'll see in your kettle, you'll see them in your hot water service if you open it up and perhaps around the head of your shower or around your taps. Bacteria and sediment you'd think that they are pretty essential for removing out of the water before they reach your home. Of course with big distribution systems comes other problems like broken pipe work. So what happens? They get out in the road, they dig a hole, they repair the pipe, dirt gets into that pipe. With that dirt comes potentially bacteria, potentially problems with chlorine in the water working properly. So by the time it gets to your house, the water authority has done the best they can to provide that safe drinking water. Bacteria can still get through, dirt can still get through. Yes, okay, most of the time bacteria is not an issue in your drinking water supplied by a main source. Unfortunately, if something does go wrong, as we have heard in places like Christchurch, We've had incidents in Sydney, there are multiple places around where we've seen issues where there's perhaps boil water alerts. Unfortunately, we usually find out about this after the fact. These aren't the only issues, these are the most common ones. Some of the other things that sometimes appear in mains water, iron, some water sources that come from a bore may have levels of iron in them which may, may cause some minor staining. Things like fluoride is something that some people are concerned about. Heavy metals to a very low level, okay, the water authorities are always going to work to a drinking water guideline. They have various different standards and I encourage you to check these standards out. They're all freely available to download, to, to look online. To find out more information about these particular contaminants and how what you can do about them, please click on the relevant link.